Right, part two of the uh, Woodside Breweries Spotted Tiger video based on Everard's Tiger. We've got 23 litres of wort and it's gone absolutely the opposite of Monday when we brewed that Mandarina, Bavarian, Effeweizen. It's uh, gone so smooth today, it's unbelievable. It's gone too smooth, everything's been perfect today. The sparge, the mashing, the boiling, everything went perfect. I've just uh, added a pack of, uh, one packet of Liberty Bell Ale, Mangrove Jacks, Liberty Bell. Uh, if anybody who, out there who's interested in statistics, I'll just get my book. Uh, tell you what it is, what I've got today. This is my Spotted Tiger. I don't want any breweries stealing that name neither. Um, let me have a look. The pre-boil volume, 29 litres. The pre-boil gravity was 1.035. Um, when I put that calculation into the uh, Grainfather app, it came out at a brewing efficiency of 82.4%. So I'm quite happy with that. That one on Monday was about 72.3 or something, or 73%. So this one's 82.4%. Me after boil gravity, which I've just taken, that was 1.045. Now Everard's Tiger, it says 1.041 drops to 1.008. So I'm a bit above 1.041, four points more. But... I don't know anybody out there can give me any advice on this. I always use Mangrove Jack's yeast, Liberty Bell Ale mainly, but I use West Coast and that Bavarian wheat as well. But I never seem to drop below 1.014, 1014. Uh, last four or five brews has been 1014. I can't get it to drop below that. I don't know why, uh, whether it's weather or what, I don't know. But anyway, I'm really happy with that. So, uh, can you, camera woman, I've got my missus today. Uh, I said I'd do a tasting, I'm over here, look, I'm over here. Uh, so we're going to see, basically, what that's like. Now, it's got the, t the tiger, spotted tiger's going on this shelf. I've been explaining my brilliant system this morning. Uh, so, but what I wanted to do was a tasting. So first of all, McMullen, hang on, let me swap that one. It's the, because I want these emptied. This is McMullen. Uh, not much of a pop. As I said, this ain't carbonated. Have you got that? In short, I'll try and make it carbonated a bit. This is McMullen Country Bitter, about 4% it finished. I don't know whether it was 3.9 or 4. Oh, it's not too bad. I think it's been in bottles four weeks on Monday. It's Friday today. Oh, I'm going to do a tasting. She's pulling her face at me because I'm not supposed to drink till tea time. Can you see that? Oh, right. Nice and clear. Let's have a smell. Yeah, nice bitter aroma. Slight fruitiness. Yeah, got some malt there. I'll not make it too long this video. I've got to get some supping time in, some drinking time, let me. So we've got a kick of malt, some fruity esters. Yeah, that's nice, some bitter bitterness. Let's taste it then. That is really nice, that. that is an excellent beer, that. I'd say that's best pale ale I've ever brewed, and I've brewed some. This is getting better for keeping, because last one I had a week ago were good, but it, it's getting better and better. And it's look, there's a head on it. Although I'm not sure that'll last that long. I can recommend that beer. That is, that is absolutely beautiful, clear as a bell. The flavour is absolutely gorgeous. Just a bit of milk. Slight fruitiness and sweetiness. 
bit of bitterness at back of throat, but not over bitter. Absolutely lovely, refreshing. That's a proper beer, is that? That is a proper man's beer. And a proper woman's beer as well. As I know, uh, some women are, are, know more about beer than I'll ever know. And, um, that is absolutely gorgeous. So if any woman brewer or man brewer out there get tape brewing this, it's in the camera book. Macmullen Country Bitter. Camera's brewing your own. And I've taken it straight out of that one. Now this one. This is Gale's, Gale's HSB. This finished about 4.95%. We had a catastrophic brew day with this, if I remember. Um, the pump filter came off. Look at that for carbonation. Oh, God, look at that. That's uh, five weeks in the bottle. 4.95%. I brewed this because I used to drink gales a lot in uh, Bracefield near Romsey in Hampshire. My cousin lives near there now. I go down three or four times a year, I still do. I used to drink it in a pub called the Newport at Bracefield and landlord kept best uh, pint of Gales HSB I've ever had. Now I think proper HSB, if they still brew it, is a bit darker than that. Might be a slightly stronger, I'm not sure. But this, let me smell it. Oh yeah. Not as fruity as that one. Let me taste it. Oh, man. Let's just take it to the light. Light it that way down. Look at that. The clarity. Now that beer I can recommend. I really can. Get Gales HB. If you like a dark, strong beer, get that made to the recipe from the camera book. Absolutely gorgeous. Cheers. Goes down smoothly. Warms your stomach. Not over bitter at all. In fact, less bitter than that McMullen. No. Yeah, fine balance of ops and bitterness there. Very nice, good head on it, and that'll stay on it. So, we'll go back in here. Those are the only two beers I've got left now. Uh, so, I've got that uh, Mandarin and Bavarian Effervise, and I made a bollocks of upstairs. I've just brewed that uh, Woodside Brewery's uh, Spotted Tiger. So, in another six weeks, I'll be able to review them. So, thanks for listening and watching. I hope I haven't bored you uh, too much. Bye for now.